Hi Virgo, thank you for joining me for your January general read. Please remember that it is general, so it cannot resonate for everyone, and that includes cross watches. Switch the energies around if it applies, but never try and force a timeline to fit your story. If it's not for you, then it's okay to just leave it be. The best way to view tarot is without expectations. So take the parts that resonate for you and leave the bits that don't. Because it's a general read, you'll find that the bits that are not resonating for you are actually part of someone else's timeline. <clears throat> Okay, so the giveaways for this month have been announced on my YouTube community page. Um, everyone who subscribes to my channel in the future will just automatically be put in for the draw for any giveaways. I'm having a break from the giveaways this month um, just because everything's been really, really hectic. Um, so I'll pick up the giveaways again next month. So yeah, Everyone who subscribes to my channel is automatically put in for the draw. Right. Um, Virgo. Straight away, Virgo. Some of you are not getting enough sleep. Um, massively sleep deprived for some of you. Okay, right, let's get into your cards. <clears throat> I'll just do a quick pre-shuffle for you as well. I hope that January has been kinder to you, Virgo, than it has to most. Um, literally, literally on the first week of January, there were tower moments happening for everyone all over the show. Okay, Virgo. Forwards movement. That's a good start, Virgo. Oh, that's landed on the floor. Uh, community. Okay. Virgo, please, for January. Virgo. Energy is very scattered, Virgo. Hmm. Right, there's something that is unresolved in a work situation. Now, oh. Wow, um, hold on. I did just see the Aquarius card here. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. Right, so on the work front, Virgo, there's something in your workplace that's still unresolved. Um, there's an issue here that I'm picking up. Um, someone has been dishonest in a workplace and for some reason or other Virgo is um, not getting the blame per se but is under suspicion. This is still unresolved but it will be resolved. There's forwards movement here with some kind of community project. Um, th there's something that you're doing that involves a big group of people um, and that's always the danger I suppose when you get a lot of different minds in one area there, there's going to be conflict um, so you're working through this energy at the moment on the romance side um, there's there's a truth there's going to be truth and clarity pertaining to a reconciliation 
on your romance front. Um, okay, I'm going to have to clarify a couple of things here before we get into your big tarot. Is this unresolved at work, Virgo, please? Unresolved work, Virgo. weird okay so the unresolved issue at work has um it's put you in the energy where at work you're not really talking to anybody um it's looking like a work situation is very very unstable um someone is not being truthful at work and Again, I was picking that up right at the start. Uh, there's been an incident at work or th there's been a series of events that's happened at work that pertains to another individual, um, someone who's just a troublemaker, basically. They're, they're trying to flex their muscles at work and all they're achieving is causing animosity and trouble. It's put your work situation, it's made it very, very unstable. Um, some of you are actually on the verge here of leaving that specific work environment because of this unrest. Um, yeah, magician, as above, so below. Um, some of you are looking for new employment. Sorry, I've just dropped a card on the floor. A second, the Empress. Okay, um, Virgo. Yeah, you, you're literally making things happen for yourself. Um, you're manifesting the changes necessary to get your work life back in balance, the Empress. Um, divine feminine energy. Please remember, cards in tarot are not gender specific. Um, you, you could well be a male and still taking on this empress energy. The empress energy is different from the emperor because the empress is literally all about uh, creation. Um, so there's something here for some of you that pertains to a new creative avenue that is going to provide you your stability. Um, so for some of you, you're in quite a very corporate work environment um, and that's the environment that you're leaving and you're going to go into something new and creative um, that provides you with stability on the money front and mental stability as well. Right. Um, okay, so we've got truth and clarity coming out pertaining to a reconciliation on a romance front. See if I can get clarity on this one for you. Romance card for Virgo, please. Is this is romance card. Right. Intuitively, you felt someone's energy coming towards you. Um, you're not saying, though. You're not saying. You're sitting and watching someone that you suspect has... Um, that you suspect is romantically inclined towards you. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Right. Um. There's a defensive energy around this. Right. You're defensive because you feel, yeah, you feel that um, ah, okay.
Right, I'm just going to sit in this energy a second, Virgo, before I say anything else, because I've got my suspicions, but I just want that vibe to confirm it for me before I say anything. Okay, so Virgo, um, there's a definite choice here for you to make with the Two of Swords <clears throat> and the Lover's card. Um, the energies that we have on the table, well, you were first out with the Hermit. Um, we then have um, Earth Energy with your Empress. We have Air Energy with the Magician. We have Gemini Energy with the Lovers. And we have water energy with the high priestess um, there's definitely a choice here for you to make pertaining to a romantic situation um, but you feel that somebody is holding they're, they're withholding something from you um, they're not giving you the full story here because they're showing up as a page um, intuitively you feel that someone is holding something back from you and it's impacting on your ability to make the choice um, so there is going to be truth that comes out about what this individual is holding back from you okay right, so i will move these cards up i know i appreciate that you can't see these cards when i move them up but i do need to make space for your big tarot and i can still see your cards I always make sure to integrate those cards into your tarot read. Okay. I think I need to pick a table. Right. Okay, so for your tarot, Cards are huge. Okay, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo, please? So you've got the Queen of Coins, Earth Energy. There we go. Nice. We've the Emperor, it's Aries Energy. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Knight of Coins, it's Earth, Page of Cups is Water, the Sun, it's Fire Energy, another Queen, okay, Guidance, please, Virgo. Your cards are being weird. High Priestess, again. Guidance, please. Right. Moon. Dealing with a lot of people here, Virgo. 
We've got Pisces energy with the moon. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Ten of Wands. And yeah, the energy at the bottom of the deck is Justice. Just check, you can see all those cards. Right. Um, energy central to your reads. Page of Cups, there's an apology here, Virgo. Um, there's a lot of court cards here, a lot. You've got an offer and an apology. Somebody is, someone is going to unexpectedly apologise to you, Virgo. And there could well be a job offer here with the Knight of Coins. So your first card out, um, the, the Queen of Coins, this is focusing on your financial stability. Um, it's looking at what you have and trying to um, maximise what you currently have. Now, for some of you, there is a divine masculine energy here with the emperor um, that has multiple women. That's for some of you, not for all of you. Um, for others of you, you are um, you're giving it straight to a boss. Um, Right, I'm going to sit with this one a second, Virgo. Okay, so again, it's... I seem to be getting a lot of really specific storylines, so it's probably not going to resonate for very many people. What I'm seeing in your cards, Virgo, is um, some of you have a child and the other parent of that child is basically um, playing the field. Um, they, they've got a lot of individuals in their energy. Um, there, there looks like there's going to be an apology that comes towards you. Um, that for some of you this is going to be happy news. Um, so I can see in your cards that an individual has made an incorrect choice pertaining to love. Um, they didn't pick you when you were the when you were the correct choice. Um, they they didn't appreciate you. They didn't pick you. They went off with someone else, thinking that the grass was greener on the other side, um, and it's. It's taken the collapse of that relationship to realise what they had with you. Um, it's left you, th there's going to be an apology that comes in towards this. Um, and I'm getting that the other party involved is actually really quite ashamed um, because it's the Knight of Coins, it's the slowest moving knight in the deck. Um, they, they've gone from being arrogant and egotistical to all of a sudden being sort of... Um, it, it's someone coming back towards you with their tail between their legs, basically. Um, the, the, the energy towards you has done a complete shift. Um, it's... It's going to leave you very, very guarded and you, you're you going to reevaluate the Four of Cups. Now, usually the Four of Cups pertains to someone not being grateful. And yes, they, they were not being grateful, but 
because of the way it's sitting in your read, I'm getting more of a, you're going to be re-evaluating whether or not this person is being honest. Um, you're going to be looking closely at how they apologise, making sure it's not a faux apology. Um, you're going to be really scrutinising every single word that they say. Um, just to see if there's something there that doesn't quite sit right with you um, because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups which is warm, kind, motherly, loving and the Queen of Cups is going to be left guarding their heart um, and trying to make a choice. Um, for a lot of you though, initially it's going to be uh, happy news that this this apology and this offer is forthcoming and um, because for some of you you've known all the way through that this person and for some of you it is the the other parent of your child uh, for some of you not all of you but you knew all the way through that they were making a big big mistake um, in your guidance the moon and the high priestess so your guidance is telling me, um, say nothing, just listen, because inside you already know the answers, um, and try to not succumb to fear as well. You also have the justice card as your overall energy. Um, so it's like justice has been served to someone here. Um, they made the wrong choice. They've now realised they made the wrong choice. And the fact that they've basically come crawling back to you cap in hand for you, um, it's almost that kind of I told you so vibe. And underneath that, the Knight of Swords. So this this apology is going to be very, very unexpected. And underneath that, you've got the Strength card. Uh, that's Leo energy. Um, the Strength card is all about um, sort of holding back. You catch more flies with honey than vinegar. Um, Something is being brought back into balance here. You then have the, the Seven of Coins and the Four of Swords. Uh, again, the Four of Swords is all about reevaluate, reevaluate your choice. Um, reevaluate. When this individual comes back in, you have to really take your time with it and absolutely use your best intuition because there's no guarantee that this isn't going to happen again um, if you accept them back. Albeit Seven of Coins, it's a connection that you've put a lot of time and energy into um, and you've been very, very patiently waiting for them to make the right decision. There's only so much waiting you can do, um, especially if someone is going to be a burden as well. If their behaviour, if their treatment towards you is going to be a burden. So you need to, um, your guidance is, is telling me that you, you need to reevaluate where where your loyalties lie, um, where what is the correct thing for you to be putting your energies into. Um, Reevaluate your responsibilities. Some of you felt a responsibility towards this individual, which could play into their ability to um, manipulate you, basically. Um, so, so your guidance is literally all about reevaluate, listen, and s you say nothing. You say nothing. Now is not the time for action. Now is the time to keep your ear to the ground uh, because th there is more to this, Virgo. There is way more to this. 
And it also feels like bad timing as well, because you've got this on top of um, some sort of animosity in a workplace. Um, now, for some of you, not all of you, this apology could pertain to a workplace. Um, for some of you, a again, really, really specific, a boss at work has been caught having an affair. They were caught by you and potentially it put your job on the line. It's put you in a really awkward position because you know who the boss's spouse is. Uh, some of you even work with the boss's spouse. Um, again, that's another really specific side story for some of you. Um, but good news is here though, because justice, justice will be served in this situation. Um, very, very strange. Okay. So for those of you who this is someone that you were once romantically uh, connected to, I'll pull you some Lover's Oracle. Um, yeah, that, that truth that comes out, the truth and clarity that leads to a reconciliation pertaining to a romantic situation. Some of you are going to be taking this person back. Um, you will be. Um, you, you've wanted a reconciliation, but when it actually comes in, you're going to be like, do I really want this though? Um, the way that I was trapped was not good. Do I really want this? Okay. There we go. Oh. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Virgo, please. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Balance. There's your justice card. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that supports and that both supports and challenges. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Healing, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed at this very moment and sexual union. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So for some of you, um, the person that you have been dealing with is very much all about all about the sex and nothing really much about the love um, and that's really really sad because you absolutely do deserve love Virgo everyone does um, and on this particular occasion you have not been trapped with the respect that you quite rightly deserve okay so to celebrate the upcoming Chinese New Year I have acquired the Chinese fortune telling deck um, just to see if we can get more clarity on your read for you, Virgo. Wow. Okay, we have three. Um, this might be a little bit of an extended read here, Virgo, because I am being told to take all three. We have Karma, number 16 which reduces down to a seven and sevens are all about confidence, assessment, reflection. Um, it's literally clarifying your entire read for me, Virgo. Um, what goes around comes around. Balance is being brought back into the situation. You are going to need to reevaluate. Um, The way that you've been treated, is that really the way that you deserve? No, I don't think so. Um, we have abundance number eight, which is all about prosperity, um, advancement, change, evolving. Uh, and then we have number one, new beginnings. So I 
in your cards, Virgo, I don't think you're going to be taking this individual back. I really, really don't. Um, it's certainly going to give you... It's definitely going to put you in that choice energy. Um, you might be tempted, but I don't see it in your cards. I don't think you will. Okay, right. So, number 16... Karma. You shall sow as you reap. Rewards for those who put in the efforts. Most of your life you have been searching for your life purpose. This card suggests that you are now very close to finding your purpose and meeting lots of soulmates and kindred spirits along the way. Transformation is taking place. And we had that transformation. Your abundance card is also all about transformation. You will be on a mission healing others through communication, kind words, charity work and finding inner peace for your gentle soul. A person in authority will offer you sound advice. This symbol, sorry, if this card pertains to career and finances for you, then this symbol will see you learn in new skills, deepening your religious or spiritual values and potentially changing career particularly if your current job does not involve helping others. If you're already working in the healing or caring industries, you'll see your spirituality grow immensely and be sought after for your kindness, excellent counselling or healing skills. No matter how you get involved with helping others, you will be busier and more fulfilled than ever. You may find that you will have a way with words for family, friends or colleagues that are troubled, helping to guide them to a brighter future. This is an incredible gift from the heavens. Those who refuse to help others or who are self-obsessed will find this symbol as a warning that there will be negative experiences ahead of them as they will reap what they have sown. If this card pertains to a relationship for you, it says the superficial relationships will be released as you look for deeper and more meaningful connections. Those that have treated people badly could end up feeling lonely and disconnected. You will be drawn to like-minded people and those who are single could find their life partner through helping others or through charitable work. Existing relationships may suffer due to neglect as you find your life's purpose, so try to find time to assure your loved ones of your commitment. Let them know that you are growing spiritually and that you will come back to them in time. Spending time alone is very important. Fresh air, open spaces, lots of greenery or being near the ocean is important for you now. Seeing dolphins will be a sign that you are on the right path. Animals will be strong medicine for you and are part of your future destination, purpose and new life experience. You may move away eventually from the hustle and bustle to a quieter country or a coastal area. For those of you who are into Feng Shui, the Feng Shui tip is a picture of the Dalai Lama or a respected spiritual leader and a lady Buddha in a prominent position in your home will aid your transition in your your new life experience. Strong forces are all around you. And then number eight, abundance. Abundance of love, joy and happiness awaits. Successful times are likely and career growth. Prosperous times are ahead and foretold. You're on fire and kicking major goals financially and personally. The decisions and actions made now could set you up for the long term. Lots of hard work could pay off and you could accumulate assets. Any success indicated by this symbol will come from your efforts, so avoid any get-rich-quick schemes and act with integrity. Stay honest, loyal and be grateful. You will then reap the rewards and abundance that you so deserve. If this card pertains to a career or finances situation for you, it says the satisfying pats on the back for a job well done will be thrilling. Promotions or seeing yourself in the limelight is likely. A money wish comes true. This is an excellent time to take a chance in, on yourself. You have to be in it to win it and small gambles could pay off. Brilliant time for purchasing property as buying and selling is, particular for is particularly fortunate under this symbol. This could be an ideal time to start a new business as taking calculated risks could pay off. Just make sure that you do not leap into the unknown as this symbol resonates for those who 
have a plan for success. An offer too good to refuse could come your way and that you will find very hard to believe. If this card pertains to a relationship for you, it says great social opportunities manifest both for friends and love interests. You are exuding charisma and energy which may which many will find incredibly attractive. By picking this card, singles are drawing a strong responsibilities that they will meet someone wealthy who could become a special someone simply by being at the right place at the right time. For everyone, dancing and music bring harmony and love into your life. So play your favourite music regularly at home, office or while travelling to connect to the good vibes that this will create. This card also warns it's best to avoid loud, obtrusive people who may bring you down. Stay with positive, strong individuals for best results. The Feng Shui tip for this card, it says using a red candle, a gold candle and a pin, scratch the amount of money that you desire into the surface of the red candle with the pin. On the gold candle, scratch your name. Light both candles at dinner time each night over eight consecutive nights while making a wish. Fortune will find you by the candle light. Okay, and number one for your new beginnings. Fresh starts and fresh opportunities, a birth of a child or a business. This symbol represents new beginnings in every part of your life, personal, social and professional. Opportunities can be welcomed now. Sorry. Opportunities can be welcomed now as the time is right for change and renewal. Recently, you've had a period when nothing felt stable and you may have felt emotional or vulnerable. You may have just completed a time of endings and now is the time to look for that which will replace what you have lost. The loss may have felt painful. However, it was a time of clearing to make way for new experiences and opportunities that now await you. Emotionally, you will feel refreshed with a new determination to succeed. You can take on the world and may feel like you have been reborn in some way as a person. This card may also indicate the birth of a long-awaited child or the beginnings of a brand new family. Be prepared for plenty of change, but if you embrace the new things that appear in your life, a better future awaits. If this card pertains to career or finances for you, it says this card indicates that taking risks will pay off. Ask for the pay rise or go after that new business or job. Speak up about what is important to you as the universe is now ready to answer your wishes. Make sure that you are clear about what you do want and don't waste this opportunity by asking for things that will not really bring you satisfaction. This is also an excellent time to purchase real estate or invest. Those looking for more challenges could benefit from embracing a new learning opportunity or a career change. If this card pertains to a relationship for you, it says that this card is a great time for a makeover. Take some time to focus on who you really want to be and consider a new wardrobe, fitness routine or a hairdo, as this is a great time to emerge as a butterfly if you have been feeling a little unhappy with your current situation or look. The time is ripe for soulmates to enter your life and your new confidence will attract them at a rapid pace. New love interests are likely or the renewal of a current love interest could be a wonderful outcome of this card. However, it may also mean that relationships that have no future will come to an end to make room for new and exciting opportunities in your personal life. Hanging on to relationships that are not in your best interest will result in difficulty within the relationship and may also create ill health for the questioner. New family members through births within the family, engagements or marriages will happen soon and the timing for these are auspicious. The months ahead are an ideal time for meeting like-minded new friends. Those who are currently single will find love in unusual or new places, so break up your routine. 
Dress to impress at every given opportunity and remember to take risks and make the most of your opportunities. Spending time alone is beneficial now for reflection and making sure that you have the time and space to make the right choices regarding in all of these elements that are manifesting in your life. These changes may upset or concern your family, partner or close friends. So try to find the right balance and communicate clearly how you're feeling and what is happening for you. This way they can feel included and gain understanding that this is a new phase in your life and they are still important to you. The Feng Shui tip for this card is declutter your computer and your phone by deleting old emails, junk mail and organising your folders. Clean up your workspace and try to ensure that at least a third of your desk is clear of papers, books and general clutter. To help messages and communication of good fortune get through, place your mobile phone in a red or a highly ornate cover. Okay. So, for, uh, sorry, for those of you who are um, really sensitive to swearing, then your read ends now. And for those of you who don't give a shit about swearing, welcome to the Rebel Deck. The Rebel Deck is a very straight to the point it can be quite brutal and it's just to inject that little bit of humor at the end of your read and um yeah i think i think everyone could do with a little bit of a laugh especially with that heavy energy virgo okay virgo please <clears throat> Right, I'm ignoring those cards because they fell. I didn't, um, sorry, they didn't jump. They just kind of fell. Right, so we've got Rebel because fuck it. Right, we got two that ended up on the floor. Stop talking, shut your mouth and listen. Uh, please remember that the Oracle cards can work either way, Virgo. It's the same as a tarot, the energy is interchangeable. So it's up to each person, uh, Virgo and whoever is dealing with the Virgo, to decide what side of the table that they're on. Um, believe what you see, face reality or live in fucking La La Land. Choose bravely. Okay, is there anything else for Virgo, please? Don't fucking force it. Allow that shit to come to you. Okay, so all interchangeable again. Um, some of it could be for you, Virgo. Some of it could be for the individual that you're dealing with. Um, and some of it could be for a completely different Virgo. Right, so that is what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you so, so much to all of those who have liked, shared, subscribed and commented to my channel. And also a massive thank you to those who have donated to my channel. It has really helped me to upgrade the quality of my content in every way. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so, so much. I do read through all, your, all of your comments. I might not be able to reply to them all, but I certainly do read them all and I absolutely appreciate every single interaction so thank you again Virgo have a lovely lovely January and we shall speak again soon bye